Hi, this is Prakash from theskillwheel.com and here we learn easy step-by-step -step WordPress web designing without coding. In this video, we are looking at how to create a Fiverr-like search bar which has the popular keywords or a search bar having additional categories filter which will help the visitor to filter out their results easily with the additional popular searches also reflecting below the search bar. So if you would like to create a search advanced search bar, you need to make use of a small plugin. And for this, let us go to our test website. So here I am on my test website dashboard. And now we will go to the plugins. We will add the pro plugin. So I have already purchased and downloaded the file for the Essential Addons Pro plugin. So let me just upload the file. And if you'd like to purchase this plugin with a discount, you can check out the link in the description. So I will just activate the plugin and the license for this plugin. So because I had already activated the license, it is showing the license as active. Now let us go to the elements and here we need to search for the advanced search and just enable this element. Let us scroll down and save the settings. So essential add-ons, if you'd like to check the details, you will see that this is one of the most popular Elementor add-on and with this add-on you get almost 90 plus premium elements and also you can use 2000 ready-made templates for the Elementor to build your website. So now let us go back to our test website and open the home page. Here we'll be creating the search bar. And for this, we just need to click on the edit with Elementor. Now here to create the section, let us add a single column. And inside this, I will drag the inner section element. Now you can have a full length search bar or you can create the search bar on one of the sections here. So I will just delete one of the sections because I want to have full length search bar. And here now I need to search for advanced search bar and just drag and drop the element here. Now you'll see that we already have a search bar showing up on the page. Now on the left hand side, you will see the relevant settings and here first we need to select the post type. So if you click on this plus button, you will see the options here and here because we are dealing with the e-commerce store, I will select it as a product. But if you are having a blog website or any other website, you can select the post type accordingly. So I will select it as product. Now the next setting is about the initial results and let it be 5 at the moment and we will change it if required. The next thing is show category list. If I enable this, you will see that the search bar now has the categories related to the products. So if I click on the drop down button, you'll see the categories that we have on this website. Now there are a few settings to exclude the category from the list and here if I click, I can now type the name of the categories which I would like to exclude from this drop down list. So likewise you can search for categories which you do not want to display on the categories list. The next important setting is about the show category results and if you would like to show the results as per categories, you can enable this tab. The important thing which will enable the popular keywords on this search bar is the show popular keyword tab and if I enable this now, it will show us the settings related to the popular keywords. So here the first setting is about the total number of popular keywords and we will keep it as 5. 
So it will display the five keywords which are mostly searched on this search bar. The next setting is about the minimum amount of keywords search. So this will decide if the term searched is a popular keyword based on the number of searches for that particular keyword. So any keyword which is searched for two or more times on this search bar will be termed as the popular keyword. Next, you can set up the content images and I will enable the images for the content. We have few more settings related to the search field. And if I click on this, I get the options to change the placeholder text. Search product. And I can also change the all categories to categories. And the search button text will be search. I can also do some settings related to the search results. And I will keep these terms as popular keyword for the popular search text. Categories search text as categories. Load more text is view all results. And for not found text, I will change it to search with another term. So now let us update this page and check out how the search bar is looking. At the moment, you will not see any popular words here because there is no search on this search bar. So we can style this search bar. So I will put some padding from all the sides and let us go to the search field. Here you have layout options. So you can select different layouts for the search field. And I will go with the first style. So let us check out the search results. So you will see that this search bar is really sensitive. And if you just type a few words here, like ebook, or I have just typed eb, and it has started displaying the products which are having these letters. So I will search for ebook. And this is how the results are showing. So now let me search this same term. So this is our second search. Now let us update this page and open this page in a new tab. So I will copy the URL and open it in a new window. Now let us check how the search is working. And here you will see there is one popular keyword ebook already present as we had searched ebook twice on this search bar. Now let us search for another term that is memory card and you will immediately see the search results. Now let us close this search and again search for memory card. And now if you clear the cache or open this website into a new window, you will see that you have the popular keywords below the search bar. This is how you can create an advanced search bar with the popular keywords and also the categories to filter the results. If you want to disable the categories on the search bar, you can simply go to the settings and disable the show categories list, update the page. And now if you refresh this page, you'll see that you do not see the categories here. So this is how you can design an advanced search bar for your website. So if you like this video, do hit the like and share button and also subscribe to my channel so that you will get the notifications for all my upcoming videos. Thank you so much and take care.